Hi, I'm Rhonda and this is Challenging Kitchen. Today, we're going to be making a French Canadian salmon tortillere. And I'm gonna show you how it's done. Here are the items that you're going to need. You're going to need some type of pie crust, some canned salmon. This is sockeye salmon, so it has a stronger flavor. They also have a pink salmon, which is more mild. You're gonna need one egg, part of an onion, potatoes, starchy potato. I have russets here. For the spices, we're gonna need some thyme, a touch of salt, and some pepper. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to peel our potatoes, wash them, cut them up, and then we're gonna put them in a pot of cold water. And any brown spots you can just cut out. Now we're just going to cut our potatoes. Remove that little bit there. We don't want to cut them too small. These are very starchy. Because we still want to have some of the texture in there. You want to see the chunks of potato. Put that in our pot of cold water. We'll get back here. This is a dish that my mother-in-law used to make during Thanksgiving and Christmas time. It was one of the favorites. And she has since passed, but her legend still lives on. I am making this pie. little piece over there that I need to get. Put that out right there. Perfect. Good. There it is. Put that out. Now then, the way my mother-in-law showed me how to do her recipe is the potato and the onion, she boils them together. So I'm gonna do it the way Joan did it. Take out the outer skin there. And don't forget, save your skins for your soups, your stock. Let's give this a quick rinse. Thank <laughs> you. 
<clears throat> I like them about like that. So you can still have some substance. I might do just a little bit more. So I'll probably end up doing about a half a cup. Normally, it would be a quarter cup. Now we're just gonna bring this up to a boil until the potatoes are fork tender. For the next part, we're going to open our can of salmon and in one mixing bowl, we're going to discard the bones and the, the little cartilage and the skin and the meat will go in the bigger bowl. So now that we've deboned the salmon and taken that skin off um, and the potatoes are on to boil with the onion, I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven to 400 degrees. My pie crust have come up to room temp, so now I'm going to roll them out and put them in my pie dish. I'm gonna spread just a little bit of flour here. Just coat my rolling pin. Now you can make your pie crust, but I'm not the best pie crust maker, so I'm gonna admit to that one. So this one is quick and easy, and that is what I am looking for. I don't have time futzing around making sure that my pie crust is gonna turn out right. So hopefully you're better at it. I can link a recipe down below. Just wanna make it a little bit thinner so it can fit in my pan easier. Good. So gently roll that up. Let's carefully place it in there. potatoes are done. I've drained them and now all I'm going to do is I'm going to add them into my salmon mixture. All that onion out. And just very gently I'm going to mix it together. Gonna give them just a little chop with the fork. Cause we want them to have a nice consistency. We don't want it all, we don't want it like a mashed potato. I know a lot of people might do it that way, but this isn't the way that I was taught, so. Now I'm going to take that 
wonderful liqueur here. And just gently mix it in. So I'm going to start with a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I think that'll be good. It's actually an eighth. I'm gonna do just a touch of salt, just for the potatoes. I'm going to do three quarter teaspoon of my thyme. And I'm just gonna rub it together. Give this another mix. Looks pretty good. So you can still see the chunks of potato. Set to the side. My egg. For my egg wash. And I'm just gonna gently go around the edge. It's gonna seal the top to the bottom. I'm going to roll this one out. We're gonna do the same thing <clears throat> as we did to the bottom. going to fill our pan with our mixture.
I'm just gonna pat it down. Take our top pastry and just run it right over the bottom. <clears throat> and we just want to take it, the bottom and the top, and we're just gonna fold it together We're gonna do this all the way around. So the bottom and the top are together. Now you can Make it pretty if you want. Pinch it together. Use the back of a fork, you know, the butt end of a fork if you want, all around. But this is gonna be just fine. Now with our egg wash, This is gonna give it a nice golden brown sheen look to it. I'm just gonna put a, just a little hole here for venting. And again, you could make pretty designs on here if you wanted. I'm just gonna do one. That's it. In the oven it goes for 30 to 35 minutes or until it is golden brown. I want to thank you for stopping by Challenging Kitchen today. Give this recipe a try. I'd love to hear from you how you liked it. And also, was there any family dish that was tradition for you all? And what was it? I'd love to hear from you on that as well. And I'm sure other viewers would too. We all have different cultures and um, the things that we've passed on from generation to generation. And it's just so exciting to hear from everyone. So I'd like to hear that, and I'm sure other people would as well. So thank you so much for stopping by. And that's my tea. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. And until we see one another again, may God always bless you. Thank you.